Hi. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> How is the, the right side of the void over there? Welcome, like this is your house? Welcome to my void. <laughs> You're very poised, <laughs> almost awkwardly. I'm ready. When did we first meet? Do you remember when we actually first met? Yeah, um... Because we didn't have any scenes together, obviously, no, in, the, we in didn't. that film, The Social Network. You and Jesse were so busy on that movie, and I was obviously in for four seconds. And I remember having, sitting down with you guys when you were having lunch one day. And you asked That's me right. loads of questions. Did and I? And you were really nice. Was I? Yeah. Everything and Jesse shifted. didn't acknowledge me. He was in probably in character. He was probably overwhelmed by by, beauty. by your beauty, yes. Yeah. I was your only friend. Yet one friend. But then I remember seeing you at a party, I think it was at the Oscars or something. You were just so lovely and energetic and kind of excited to connect. I think that's the, the, the first wow, time we- Wow, I didn't yeah. remember that. I right. can't believe you remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was sober. There's no insinuation. Feels no, like there was. There's no implication that I'm making. That was when like Mark Townsend, uh, who's here and does my hair, used to put pieces of hair in my hair, uh -huh. you know, to make it look full. Right. And at those parties, I'd pro probably get a little drunk and then just like take them out and put them in people's pockets, like men's jacket pockets, because they're so annoying and it just like find a place to put them. But why men's jackets pockets? Because they're so available. Oh, okay, rather than like doing some the weird floor. kind of thing of like, I'm gonna get him in trouble with his no, no, lady no. friend later. No. Whose hair is this? No, it would be like, can you hold this for me? I'll get it later and then I'd forget. Uh, okay, so people would wake up with <laughs> your non-hair. My fake hair. Your fake hair in their pockets? Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I right in thinking that Social Network was your first film? Yes. That's crazy. Did you come in nervous or did you come in kind of just open? What was no, it? I was so nervous. You know, like before you shoot anything, I'm, I like don't sleep and yeah. you kind of like that hollow, nervous, shaky feeling. Yeah. It was the best. So funny, so this is a weird story, this, and I probably shouldn't say this. Say it. I was accidentally brought into Justin's, um, Justin Timberlake, uh, of, of stage screen and pop star fame. I was brought into his trailer um, accidentally, and I was like, this isn't my trailer. And I saw some of his homework, like a board with like, like cue cards and like some of his like, Oh no. Internal choices oh, no, no. and substitutions and like... And you were like, oh no, I should leave, but you didn't. You I, read all of it. I was like, oh, I must leave. And as I leave, I must let my eyes linger for as long as possible as I leave. Because I mean, of course, because it's like, it's just there. And thank God it wasn't anything bad. It was only kind of that cool. That is fucked up. I know, I'm a really bad person, actually, in <laughs> retrospect. I can't like, believe you did that. There was one thing I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, what an amazing moment that I get to, like, because I admire Justin so much, and like, yeah. as a pop star and as, like, a, a musician yeah. and a dancer and just, like, a creative person. I'm just so fascinated by yeah, all that's actors' so processes. And, human. and it was, yeah, thank you. Oh, I've gone on a roller coaster. You just took me on. You shamed me, and then you were excited for me, and then you now you've, you've accepted my humanity. I'm know. a woman. Yeah, you are. <laughs> just realized something in, in real time. Did you realize it at the same time? I think maybe I did. Is it that we both... Worked with people who are... Directing us. And are also performers. performers. That's so Creepy. weird. Spooky. So weird. Yeah, yeah, but that's right. Because yeah. of Maggie Gyllenhaal and Lin-Manuel Miranda. Thank you. That's his name. I had a year to learn how to sing oh, and to learn cool. piano and to, you know, get the choreography down and to study John, to really get in to immerse myself in this amazing man. The amount of people that want to keep his spirit alive enabled us to get all of the information and all of the subjective experiences yeah. that people had with him. And it was, I love that. Have you done that before? Have you, have you played someone real, real that, yeah. that has, what was that? I did a film called Our Friend, and uh -huh. I played a woman who lived in this really small town in Alabama, uh -huh. and we shot the movie in the town, mm. and everyone knew her, and wow. like every single shop owner and restaurant, and they'd say she sat here and she would order this. She was a special was, woman. Yeah, she was just like a sparkle. We were all messed up. You saw us. There's something about Maggie who is like a real truth-seeking actor mm -hmm. and now a real truth-seeking director mm -hmm. who knows what it feels like to be an actor acting, especially a woman, uh -huh. especially like on a beach 
in a bathing suit and right. you know doing like dark things and thinking and feeling dark things. She created a really safe place. That's not something that can be artificial. Mm -hmm. It comes from like being genuinely loved and genuinely seen yep. by your director, which right. I think is so rare. And that comes from genuine experience as yeah. well, like, emp like proper bone deep empathy yeah. and care, yeah. which is the greatest gift. Mm -hmm. Gosh, yeah. I want to work with her. You should. Yeah, and same and same with Lynn. I don't think he'll ever want to work with me. Why do you say that? I get really nervous singing in front of people. I was the same, but like, yeah, you just start peeling the onion and you get through it. I don't. You're like, peel no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to peel the onion. I don't want to be an onion. This is the life of bo 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 bo. This is the life of bo 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 bo. This is the life of bo 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 bo. Like this is a maybe more personal question, but like how you have to have such good boundaries in your life and with an audience in order to carry on being naked on screen, whether it's literal or otherwise. Mm -hmm. Like that is such a, and I, I know it's something that I think about all the time to keep yeah. to keep myself sacred, to keep my life yeah. sacred, yeah. Um, so that I can feel free to go and carry on giving yeah. myself to my work. Well, it takes a lot to be private now, like so much effort every day. Yeah. You don't do certain things or go certain places. Someone say, hey, are you the guy from the thing? I'm like, no, I look, I look like him. And then we can have an actual conversation. But then sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm very just like, yeah, I am, and I'm gonna disappoint you now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why like, do you feel like you would disappoint them? Well, because I think, I think about me and Tom Hanks. Right, me too, I think about you. You think Tom about me, <laughs> me and Tom Hanks. <laughs> All the time. But it's the thing of like, I know that Tom Hanks is just a person, mm -hmm. but to me, He's he is the my- hero. Yeah. Yeah. He's, have you ever met him? I have. And he didn't disappoint. No, he doesn't. But I, but quite the contrary, I would. Like, it, it, not in a bad, not, not like a self-flagellating way. It's more just like I give myself permission to be ordinary, to be a person, to to to. to but don't of, you think that that would make people feel that you're more grounded and more of a human than? Like, a lot, of, a lot of the time, it does do that. Yeah. If if someone's open to me being a person, it's we have a lovely conversation. But then there are some people that don't want don't want that. They want. They want you to start climbing up the wall. They want the Mickey Mouse. They want mm. the kind of that. Yeah, exactly. Do you ever? feel bad when you lie to someone that you're not who you are? Never. Never? You don't never. ever feel guilty being like, oh, I should have just said, yeah, that's who I am? No, never. If someone's like, hey, are you, are you Andrew Garfield? And I can tell by the way, the energy with which they're, they're asking. That if, they care? If I am the Andrew Garfield that they're looking for, or if they're actually asking if I'm me. Does that make sense? Like, I'm me. Yeah. And then there's this thing, Andrew Garfield, that people can get agitated about or kind of like, excited about and if they're asking in that way I'm like no I'm not that so actually I don't feel like I'm lying yeah but if they, if, they, if someone comes up to me and I can feel that they're just gonna ask me about something I've done or like say thank you for a, a film that they liked if it's like hey are you Andrew Garfield I'll be like yes and then they'll be like hey I liked that gate <laughs> if you if I like a, as if I was a blacksmith in the village and it's like hey are you the blacksmith if it's that energy I'm like yeah I'm the blacksmith and then they're like hey I really like that gate that you made on the edge of town. It's got a nice hinge, doesn't squeak. Yeah. It's good upkeep. Great gate. Thank you for that gate. I'm like, that's made my day because I put a lot of work into that gate and I like it too. So thanks, man. Do you ever lie and say, no, I'm not Andrew Garfield? <laughs> no, usually I say, yes, I am Andrew Garfield. <laughs> and then you and get then like, like wow. people like get very angry. Do you ever you. get the people that go like, hey. Where do I know you from? What do I know you from? <laughs> and you're like, I don't know. Here's my CV. <laughs> well, what have you been in? <laughs> and you're like, what am I gonna pull up my IMDb page? Like list movies I've done so that you can feel better? No, it's so interesting. People are so interesting. I like, think we did okay. Don't you feel okay about it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay. <laughs>